Hey, Benny Fish. It's the 6th of March, 2018. And I got to show you this real quick. We got another storm coming our way here. Another pretty good one, I guess. We're, we're barely recovering from the last one, which I was just looking into here. Still a lot of people without power. It's crazy. It's, it's, it's pretty bad. Look at this. I used to live down this area. This is situate. But check this out. Incredible washover on Rebecca Road. <laughs> I was just studying that stuff too. About the Becca and Rebecca. So that kind of like got my, my brain thinking, huh, why would I see that? So I'm just looking at this new one that's coming in. I got to prep for this thing. I mean, we might get a ton of snow. So, But I see it's called Quinn, right? Winter Storm Quinn. And the first thing in my mind that pops is Quinn the Eskimo. Remember that song? Come on without, come on within. I thought it was kind of stupid, but I mean, it pops in my head. Quinn the Eskimo. And so, you know, this is how, I, how my mind works. I, I look it up, right? And sure enough, it's written by Bob Dylan. Quinn the Eskimo. Bob Dylan, um, you can look it up on YouTube. He uh, worships and serves Satan. And he'll tell you himself, you know, I, I'm not, I'm not judging him. He, he already tells everybody what he, who he serves. But what I, what I was once again moved to do was put Quinn the Eskimo into the good old Gematria. And what do you think, what, what, I just want to ask you, what you think the chances of Quinn the Eskimo being 666 would be? Pretty doggone slim, right? But, you know, that's that that's not enough for a video, I didn't think, right? So, I go back to reading my article, and I'm thinking about this, though. 666, and it brings me to think about Revelation 13. That's just what it does. Here is wisdom. Let him that hath understanding count the number of the beast, for it is the number of a man, which is six. You know, after the sixth day of creation, so on and so forth, that's a whole nother story. But anyway, that's where we get our 666. And it reminded me of when I was doing the other study about the shekel and the becca and everything. How every man, these are the Jews. These, this is, this is right at the time of the covenant. They, they, they just, they're building the, the tabernacle and putting the ark together, everything. Okay. And these are the men to be numbered numbered just like in revelation the number of a man count the number of a man right six hundred and three thousand five hundred and fifty men okay so i'm thinking how that might have something to do with whatever i might be thinking of you know and i'm looking at this verse which i have done before and it just kind of comes to me how do we come to these numbers like six 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 like, for instance, I found this in the Jewish Gematria, okay, which is ancient. It, it, these numbers and, and languages, you know, when, when God broke them up in the rebellion with Nimrod and he split up the languages and everything, he did it. It's his languages, his letters and his numbers, and he can do it whatever he wants with them. Just Satan takes his perfect numbers and just turns him six ways to Sunday to deceive the world. And that's what he does with all his little formulas and numbers and potions and what have you. But the real root of Gematria is God, right? And it got me to thinking, six, six is, six is the number of the man. It says count the number of a man. So I just start looking around a little bit. And I find that English Gematria, what we refer to as English Gematria, it wasn't always referred to as that. This is actually something very fascinating. This is the, the number of the man code. And this I, I'm trying to explain as best I can. This is how we come to understand Jesus at the cross as 888. And, and we all understand that that is God's perfect, perfect number. Upside down, backwards, and infinity. That's the perfect number. And in this man code, and by that I mean 666, A6, B12, C18, 666, you understand? 
That's how we come to these um, calculations when we put in words like Jesus and cross and and there are several numbers that are that are crucial to this whole system that only work in a symmetrical way that are selected out and there's only three for okay so the their primary numbers in this code and they're 88 906 and 1110 and I'm just showing you what what I came to see okay now I need you to remember that though because this is really crazy 906 if you use this code okay the Holy Father Jesus Christ Holy Spirit and it goes on I will link this because it's fascinating and I was led here just to share this with you okay so I was led back to that study in Exodus this is so weird 3826 the, the ones that went to be numbered, 603,550. Well, you just can't make this ever, ever up. 603,550 divided by 666 is 906. <laughs> I don't know what to say about that. Holy Father, Jesus Christ. You see how it comes full circle around, though, from the very beginning? This whole half shekel and everything, this is all the way back to the first, to the covenant with Moses, the first, the tabernacle, all these shekels were used to make all the ornaments of the tabernacle. That's what this all is about. So, it's just crazy in how it relates to Rebecca. I mean, if we just look at what this this definition of Becca is right it's just a weight of a coin right but it comes from to cleave to rend break or rip open breach you know be ready to burst cut out divide rend rip up tear win okay which is basically the opposite of Rebecca which is noose to bind or tie you see what I'm talking about and Rebecca with the twins it's just amazing crazy wild stuff that is true and I'm sharing it with you because I don't know I have to because a stupid storm named Quinn just gave me a piece of a really really intense puzzle in my view and this is definitely spirit led is just no specific message I have for you from this you know other than Jesus it's all Jesus every single thing that this all leads to is Jesus it's <laughs> it's all about Jesus you know and that's what I get and so I just wanted to share that with you I thought that was absolutely fascinating and wild and crazy Quinn the Eskimo winter storm Quinn 666 yeah okay i'll leave as many links as i remember to okay and uh you all have a great night peace and grace to you any fish finally my brethren be strong in the lord and in the power of his might put on the whole armor of god that ye may be able to stand against the wiles of the devil for we wrestle not against flesh and blood but against principalities against powers, against the rulers of the darkness of this world, against spiritual wickedness in high places. Wherefore take unto you the whole armor of God, 